Hey guys, how you all doing? Um, you know who it is. I'm not gonna say my name again because I always say that and it's pretty lame. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a quick video today. It might come across a little bit morbid, but it's not meant to be. So I'm sorry if you guys get sad by it. But it's not meant to be like it's not meant to scare you or anything. Um, and it's just I'm th I've been thinking about death. You know, and thinking about death is quite a natural part of life. You know, it's it happens. Um, what happened is the other night we had a bat in our house, and Pancake, you all know Pancake, caught it like a champ. Now naturally, I didn't want the bat to die, so I went and saved the bat. And in saving the bat, the bat bit me. And I saved it, and I let it outside, and it flew away. And it's fine. Um, when it bit me. It kind of broke the skin, but it didn't really make me bleed, so like I didn't think anything of it. I had a tetanus a couple of years ago, so I'm like, nah. But then I kind of got thinking, and I was like, well, it could have rabies. Maybe it bit me deep enough to affect me. Um, I don't know. I don't really have money for hospitals and things like that, so I'm just going to, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> I know people are going to be like, you're so stupid, you need to go, but, you know, I, it didn't break the skin, look. It's a little bite on the thumb. It might camera focus. Yeah. Anyway. It's like it didn't pierce the skin. It broke the skin a little bit, but it didn't like get all the way through. So, um, but anyway, like, so I started thinking because obviously, like, rabies, if not caught soon enough, can kill you, and it's bad. Um, and then it, it took me back to like before my transition because obviously, naturally, before my transition, I was quite ready to die. Um, I was pretty suicidal. I am. Um, and not always in the terms of cutting myself and, and like drugs and oh shit like that. But you know, like I would be driving and I'd can't and I'd be like, well, you know, if I just turn the car slightly, I could drive into that car and kill me. And you know, often I wouldn't do that because I didn't want to kill the other person in the car. You know, but then you're on the edge of a cliff and you're like, well, maybe if I just drive down there. But then I didn't do that because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> so, but the thought was constantly in my mind of different ways I could kill myself, and then I constantly just ran through. And fighting. That's why I've gotten into so many fights. Because when I fought, I would often think, well, maybe this guy could kill me. He could shoot me or stab me or beat me to death. You know, like, and these things didn't scare me because I wasn't happy with my life. And I thought that that would be the easiest way out. And then even, even when I started my pills, my therapist was like, you know, you're going to take these pills. There are a lot of side effects and a lot of complications, a lot of bad things that could happen. You could get cancer. Like... You're changing the way your cells react to certain things, and you know, and obviously, once you start changing your cells, there's possibilities of mutations, and you could get cancer. Um, certain certain um, medicines, my progesterone and stuff that I take, increase blood clots, so I'd have to take aspirin to stop blood clots. But again, that can affect me. Um, you know, so there were a lot of like, you can't take this, but you could die. Um, but when you say that to someone who had the mentality and thought processes that I did, I was like, ah. Okay, whatever. Like, if this is going to help me get to where I need to be, then whatever. You know, if I die in 10 years, cool. You know, as long as I'll die being who I am. And that's where I was. That's, I was like, I either die now or I die later as who I am. But either way, I'm going to die. Like, we all die eventually. I know it sounds morbid, but I'm trying to keep it upbeat. So naturally, I got bit by this bat and I thought, shit, like, I could get rabies and I could die. And then I kind of realized, I was like, you know what, if I die, yes, it would be crappy. <laughs> Naturally, it would be crappy. But if I were to die, I'm happy with where I am now. You know, I'm, I would not die because I'm angry, and I would not die because I'm resentful, and I would not, I would die content, which is cool. I think a lot of people don't reach that point in their lives. I am... Um, you know, there's a lot I want to do still, and there's a lot I want to accomplish, and there's a lot I want, like, things I want to see. But, at the same time, I'm also very, very happy. But it's sort of making me realize, you know, that, like, how many people don't do things, or postpone things, or procrastinate, because they're ashamed, or because they're scared. You know, like, that fear controls them so much, that it stops them from doing something that could ultimately change their lives for the better. You know, like this morning, I um, I sing in the shower. I do it every day. I, I love singing in the shower. I put my phone on and I just sing to it. And normally I'm like, it's raining, man. Do -be -do, do -be -do. But like, okay, I don't sing that song. But for example, 
But like this morning, like after thinking about all this stuff, and I was like, it's raining, man! I love it! And like I did that because why not? You know, I enjoy singing. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. And you know, I realized that I normally sing softly and quietly and stuff because I don't like my neighbors to hear and all of that. And I don't, you know, they might think things. And I was like, then wh why? Like, if they don't know me, and even if they did, so what? It's my life. You know, if I die tomorrow, I can die tomorrow and be like, I sang fucking loudly and I was proud of it. And it just made me realize, like, I have a couple of friends who are, you know, waiting to, for the right time to tell their parents that they're trans and stuff like that. And I understand that because it's scary. You know, it's fucking scary. But you can't let that fear control you. You know, if you constantly didn't do things because you were scared, we would never do anything. Getting a new job is scary. Going for job interviews is scary. You know, transitioning is scary. A new boyfriend or a new girlfriend is scary. You know, some just on varying degrees and varying levels, but all scary. And the trick is to not allow that fear to control you. And I think once you accept the fact that, okay, like a vast jump, but once you accept the fact that we're going to die eventually, be it in three days from rabies or in 10 years from old age or 20 years or 50 years from old age, Hopefully not 10 years. <laughs> um, once, you, once you understand that we're mortal and we're not indefinite, like it is going to end at some point, I think that fear kind of subsides. You know, you kind of like, I'm going to jump off this cliff now. I did a bungee swing a couple of years ago. And you stand there and the only thing you're scared of, and I'm petrified of heights, but the only thing you're scared of is if I jump and this rope snaps, I'm dead. And that's the only thing that stops people from doing it, is what if the rope snaps? You know, and you say, what if the rope snaps? But what if it doesn't snap? What if it's perfectly okay? Then you have the coolest experience of your life. You know, you, your endorphins rush and your adrenaline is amazing and, and you didn't do it because of what if. And I understand that. What if is massive, but that's a perfect example of fear controlling your life. And you can't allow that. You can't allow fear to control your life. You have to sometimes just go, screw you, fear, and jump. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing in life. My friends who need to come out of trance, there is never going to be the right time. You know, it's sad and you're scared. I get that. But you can't let it control you because you're just prolonging your fear. You're prolonging your misery. You know, sometimes you just need to jump and be, and whatever comes, comes. You know, I got bit by a bat. That was my choice. You know, like, I wanted to save the bat. If I didn't want to save the bat, I could have let my cat kill it. And I wouldn't be thinking about this way. But thinking about this way has freed my thought process a little bit you know if i die from it i die from it and it'll be sad and the world will mourn for a couple days and that'll be it but you know like i did it doing a good deed it was my choice so i deal with the circumstances but at the end of the day we're all gonna die at some point so we shouldn't procrastinate and we shouldn't wait for that thing to happen because that sign will never come and that thing will never happen you know sometimes we actually just have to grab the world by its balls and just do it, you know. We've been wanting to move overseas and stuff like that. And it's been a, oh, but what about money? And what about this? And, and mostly from my side. I'm like, oh, what about this? And what about this? But I've realized, you know, it's never going to be the right time. Sometimes we just need to do it. So I'm going to start looking into it. Because I think it's time for a change for me. And, you know, and, you know, those people out there watching it who there's someone that you like, but you just don't tell them. Tell them. It's never going to change. Tell them. If they say no, at least you tried, and then you can get over it and start moving on with your life. You know, the people out there who want to love, or people out there who want to get married, or just do it. Like, there is never the right time except for right now. So, you know, like, it starts off as a morbid video, but it's actually quite enlightening. You know, so just don't worry about me. I'm not going to die anytime soon, I hope. But if I do, celebrate the life that I had as opposed to, like, a death. You know, because it's not a death. You know, it's an experience. Uh, and one that we only get once. So if there's that one thing that you need to do, that one thing you need to tell that person, or that one place you have to go and see, do it today. Say it to them. Make a plan. Get started. Go. Move. Jump. Do what you need to do. Um, sorry, I got a message. You know, don't procrastinate. The life is now. Today is now. This is what you need to do today. So, you know, don't be scared. Things may be scary, but there's no reason to let that fear control you and stop you. So anyway, I hope this video isn't morbid, and I hope it gets through to a few people. Um, and have a good day. Stay alive.
Bye.